Shoulder joint pain is one of the common joint ache. Patient is evaluated by orthopedic surgeon. Initial radiological and lab studies suggested are X-ray, MRI, ultrasound and blood. Septic precautions as guided by JCHOs are followed. Procedure is performed under general anesthesia, sedation or regional anesthesia. General anesthesia. Patient is completely asleep. Sedation. Patient receives intravenous sedation and local anesthesia. Regional anesthesia is known as cervical plexus block. After anesthesia, skin is prepped and covered with sterile drape. Marking pen is used to mark the entry point of scope. Skin over the marking point injected with local anesthesia. 1 to 3 cc's of 1% lidocaine injected in skin and soft tissue underneath the skin. Skin incision is made with sharp knife. Arthroscope is passed through the skin into the shoulder joint. Arthroscope is used to diagnose cause of the pain. Diagnostic arthroscopy of shoulder joint is done to identify the following causes of the shoulder pain. Subacromial bursa. The bursa is observed through arthroscope. Needle is passed into bursa and synovial fluid is aspirated. Depletion of bursa results in pain relief. Supraspinatus tendonitis. Inflammation of supraspinatus ligament causes severe pain. Arthroscopic examination of tendon confirms the diagnosis. Severe pain caused by joint impingement shoulder joint capsule when pinched under acromion causes severe pain. Diagnosis is confirmed by arthroscopy. Rotator cuff tendon tear. Clinical diagnosis of rotator cuff tear is confirmed by arthroscopic examination. Biceps tendonitis. Inflammation of biceps tendon causes severe pain and restricted shoulder joint movement of the inflamed tendon which is observed under the scope. Bone spur causes severe pain. Bone spur often is difficult to diagnose with X-ray or MRI. Arthroscopic examination confirms the presence of bone spur. Inflamed loose cartilages are observed in advanced osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis of shoulder joint.